You know a fellow by the name of Steve Plunkett? Oh, I Steve know fellow. Steve Plunkett. Plunkett. 6, 8, 2, 30. Well, so I'm doing this job on 60th and 3rd. Big freaking ball breaker of a job, right? Got the area roped off, you know, so nobody goes wandering in there and gets hurt. All of a sudden, some woman with big dark glasses, Bloomingdale bags, she starts walking right through the ropes. And when you know it, gasket breaks and the crane falls down on her. So she's screaming, my legs, my legs. So Steve says, no shit your legs. You got a 2,000 pound crane on top of them. You know how in an emergency, people get amazing strength out of nowhere. Well, Steve is like that all the time. So he picks up the crane, and I shimmy under, and I drag the lady out, put her in an ambulance, and take her to the doctors, and the doctors save her legs, and so now she can walk again. So you suppose that there's a moral of this story, and that's not to walk where you're not supposed to. Don't do drugs. <laughs> to Steve, to Steve Plunkett. Plunkett. Are you talking about Steve Plunkett? Yeah, we're talking about Steve Plunkett. I know Steve Plunkett. I'm going to buy you a drink. The Steve Plunkett. The Steve. One time, I trimmed my beard in the sink. Steve comes home, sees the hair, and thinks it's my pubes. Well, he gets so mad, he grabs me by the collar, rubs my nose in the hair, and says, Bad man, bad man, as if I was a dog that pissed on the rug. Ever since that day, I've never trimmed my pubes. They're now a two-foot-long dreadlock that runs along my left leg. One time, a hot Asian high schooler gave him her number with a note that read, for a hot, no string sex call. He never called. He once lost a buck to himself. Steve Plunkett's semen can take the form of a liquid human, like that guy from Terminator 2. Tell you about the time that Steve and I went hunting? So there I am, in the back of a pickup truck with Steve and a live deer. He grabs that deer and shakes it in such a way and says, I'm Steve Plunkett. Now say it! Well, he grabs the deer and squeezes it in such a way that a noise comes up. Steve Plunkett! Now, it's not exactly right, but pretty good for a deer. Mwah. He put a bounce house in his house. I once saw him scissor kick Angela Lansbury. They used Steve Plunkett's foreskin as a tarp for Yankee Stadium. By age 12, he was taller than the entire nation of Japan. <coughs> I ever tell you about the time that Steve and I went horseback riding, but there weren't any horses? So there we were, and there's no horses, so Steve strapped, throws a saddle on top of me and rides me around Wyoming for three days. Well, wouldn't you know it, every day my stamina increases, my legs get stronger until I have tremendous thighs. So then, of course, Steve enters me into the Breeders' Cup. While well, I'm running in second place, doing pretty good, if you ask me, until I break my ankle. Struggling on the ground, the veterinarian comes over, and he's about to put me down until somebody from the stands shouts, No, wait, stop! He's a human! To Steve Plunkett! Can I tell you about the time that Steve and I went hunting? Well, anyway, Steve Plunkett decides that he's going to hunt down and murder all eight of the Brady Bunch. One by one, he kills them with a machete. They all beg for their lives, except for Jan. She wanted to die. In his country, the fucks don't give a you. We had a bachelor party for Steve. He ate the entire cake before we could tell him there was a stripper in it. One time, he testified in front of the Supreme Court and... 35 times he said now instead of using the word now. So Chief Roberts, he gets on to this, right? And he's chuckling to himself and he has, says, Steve, are you, are you, are you saying now like a, like a cat? And Steve goes, do I look like a cat to you? Am I jumping around all nimbly bimbly alike? Am I drinking milk from a saucer? No. Now quit your laughing right now. He's a professional golfer. He once joined a fraternity, fate his eye, just so he could quit it. He is all that is man. 
He can feel every synapse in his cerebral cortex. You drop a phonograph needle on Steve's nipple, it plays the entire soundtrack to Dazed and Confused, Ephraim Roger Rabbit. Like Superman, his clothes stretched to fit him decades later. I saw him wearing a t-shirt from 1993 two days ago. He has the strength of five gorillas. Steve Plunkett.